Okay, questions from our audience. Uh, Lenore's. Uh, thank you, Dean. Um, one movement that began on campus, a campus, Stanford campus, is the recall of Judge Aaron Persky. And there's been a lot of speech, a lot uh, of, in favor of the recall, and a lot from those of us who oppose the recall as a real threat to the independence of the judiciary. What is your view on the recall and the speech aspect? I think that judicial independence is the very heart of the rule of law. Judges should decide cases on their best view of the law and the facts, not to please the voters. I'm very concerned about the recall of Judge Persky because if he is removed from office because of his sentence in one case, then what message is that going to send to judges throughout the state? They then will feel that if they are regarded as too lenient, they're then going to face recall as well. There's not been a successful recall in California of a judge since 1932. Every judge in the state of California is paying very close attention to this. The late Justice Otto Kaus, who served on the California Supreme Court, said that generally judicial elections are for judges like a mere crocodile in their bathtubs. They're always aware they're there. I think if Judge Persky is recalled, every judge is going to feel there's a very large crocodile that's going to affect how judges decide cases. I am also concerned about the speech aspect of this. A number of things have been said about the supporters of the recall that are untrue or that are misleading. For example, in the support for the petition for the recall, it said that the University of California, Berkeley, California Center on Constitutional Law, had found that recalls are no threat to judicial independence. It never said that. Its report was nothing other than a description of the past instances in which recalls had been used. As you can tell, I am strongly opposed to the recall. I have written a couple of op-eds to that effect. And yet, a statement from one of them is taken out of context by supporters of the recall in a way that makes it appear that I'm supporting it. Let's have an honest debate about this, but let's have it with true and accurate speech. 